So today, me and my buddy Charles are going to a place called Dead Children's Playground. This place is supposed to be really haunted. It's located right next to Maple Hill Cemetery. And back in the early 60s, these little kids, uh, Emma, Megan, Kayla, Courtney, and Madison, were abducted and a few weeks later their bodies were found dead up at this playground. So supposedly like the swings move back and forth and it's like a really scary situation. This place was supposed to be trying to um it was an attempt to have it shut down back in the early 2000s and whenever the construction people went up there to demolish the land uh, everything stopped working they had to bring in all new equipment to get it done they just ended up never finishing the project. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna check it out and uh, let y'all know how that goes. We're driving past the cemetery right now. We're about to be pulling up to Dead Children's Playground. It's kind of creepy. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots, lots of graves. Of, lots of bodies. Lots, yeah. lots of deceased people that no longer walk the well, uh, Alright, we're almost there right now. It's on McClung and Newport. The way up is really creepy. It's like a long just trees, it's right by the graveyard. So we just got to the park and it's kind of sketchy because we just started walking down and the swings, I don't know if y'all can tell, but the swings are moving just a little. And that's what it said in the uh, Wikipedia article that the swings would be moving if the uh, spirits were here. And they're like barely moving. It's a very beautiful place. It is. It is really beautiful. You got the rocks and stuff over really there. Creepy at the same time. All right, Charles is going to look for the dead baby head or doll head. I almost fell. That's really creepy. Oh, that's slippery. It's probably slippery since it rained just yesterday. It's very slippery. I know it's up here somewhere because I found it. We're not sure where it actually is, but. Uh, the worker actually told us to come back here and actually look for it, so that's exactly what we're doing. I'm really not trying to climb, I'm in Chaco's. I feel. And so are you. And it's really slippery. Yeah, if it hadn't just rained yesterday, I'd definitely be more down to climb. Yeah. But dude, what is this thing right here? You see that? Was what? That. That looks like the head. That's definitely the head. That's definitely a dead bird. That's not a dead bird. Probably. Why, why does the hair look like it's a person's hair? It looks uh, like a wig. That might be a wig. That's creepy, dude. Touch Ooh. it. No, I'm not touching that. I'll step on it. Yeah. Nah. Hey, uh, this summer trying to make some uh, nature vlogs? Yeah, we can make some nature vlogs. Dude, can Montesano? Hella nature -y. Yeah. What? We just... Looked at like the little swing, or not swing set, I don't know what the this play, little, the jungle, gym. the jungle gym playground thing, and people have wrote their names on it. I don't know what this symbol is, but it looks like they try to melt it on, which is kind of, kind of creepy. Get touch my <laughs> uh, we decided to leave because like all these sketchy people started to show up in the middle of the day, and she was even talking about it. She was like, did y'all catch anything on the camera or anything? And then right over here, like a fire and rescue showed up and a cop on the other side of him so it's really sketchy and then this old man was just like sitting here watching us the entire time i don't really want to like stick it on his face or anything but uh well we'll just stay on our face <laughs> um so we were unsuccessful to find the geotag which is like the little doll thing nailed into like the rock i'm not sure where it was at but it was also a little real wet so we didn't want to come up there right now but we might come later tonight I'm not sure yet you'll see in the vlog or video if is so um also we did catch a little of the swings moving but it wasn't like moving a lot so you couldn't like honestly tell a lot but the swings were moving so that was the sign that the spirits were there and then the lady we talked to she said every time she comes up there the swings are moving and it's just like a really creepy situation mm -hmm. 